Hello there. If you use HitFilm Express to edit your videos like I do, you might find this little tip that I stumbled upon whilst editing this video. This is a, a wood turning video that if you did want to see it, you might want to subscribe and hit that old bell, you know, and then it'll let you know when the video comes out because I think it's going to be a fantastic video. Anyway, let's get on to the subject in hand. So what I'm wanting to do is to line up shots from a two camera shoot. So you can see I've got the um, sports cam here and which is on this bit of footage. You can see that. Um, and you might say, well, you, you know, just do a clap or, you know, use a clapperboard or something like that. Well, that's not always possible. And in fact, what happened here um, well, first of all, I always forget to do things like that. Uh, so I forgot on this occasion anyways. But having lined up the previous bit of footage here, um, you find that actually the, the, you know, for whatever reason, I honestly don't know why, but there's a bit of footage missing. Sports cam just stopped working and started again. Hmm. Technology, eh? Anyway, so the, the point is you don't always have that clap in any case and so all you need to do is to find a way of lining your footage and it just so happens that you know there's a nice easy moment here where i can see where that varnish is being applied on both cameras so i should be able to line things neatly now i'm going to use control zoom control zoom what's that well, i mean is control scroll wheel which will zoom the time and so we can you know you should be able to, you need to be able to move frame by frame and you can tell by the number that's beside can you see that that's going a couple of frames at a time so i need to zoom in a bit more on the time and then we can get a precise time where the varnish just starts to actually make contact with the wood i reckon it's about there that's your actual sort of initial moment. So that's on that bit of footage. Now I'm going to zoom out again. So having found that spot, we need to find the similar spot on the end of this footage. And you might say, well, we've just found that spot. Why are you, you going to move it? Well, it's easy enough to find that spot. I can do that. Uh, you can use markers and things. I, I tend not to. I don't know why. Um, and I can just drag this to get to the exact point where, and you can see, okay, yeah, that's, and it's going, you can see that's going frame by frame by looking at the number. So we're at 44, 31, 11, 44, 31, 12, and so forth. So we can get the moment exactly right. Where, there we go. That's the sort of moment of contact. Yeah, not contact, contact and the first blob okay so what i'm going to do is move this yeah let's zoom out a bit and get back to the same point du, 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 du. and be able to see there we go so it's around here zoom in a lot and where is that moment Okay, so we're getting very close now. So I reckon it's there. So I can zoom out again. So lots of control on the scroll wheel. Uh, I think it would be command on an apple. Um, and now I can just drag that to match. And obviously, you know, this is going to be, uh, you know, it could be picture in picture. This isn't really about the editing, whether you've got picture in picture or, you know, two, two cameras at the same time or not. It's just lining the footage before deciding which camera you want when. So what we can do in the, in the meantime is we can just scale it. So let's put 50%, that'll do. And, and then just move it, just put it somewhere. And then we can sort of look by using the, uh, you know, the comma and the full stop, the greater than, less than keys. So just go back, 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 back. I 
could do with a faster machine. Anyone feel like uh, becoming a patron? You'd be very welcome. And you get to see extra things that are not shown on the main channel. I mean, that is looking spot on, isn't it? Don't you think? In fact, oh yeah, look at that. Well, you see where the, the gap here between the end of the varnish and the shadow looks about right. And then we go one frame on and you can see it's touching the shadow and it's touching the shadow. So that's pretty good. And then obviously the last thing is I can drag out the footage. Because that was just, you know, I didn't want to trim the footage that much. Just want to get it back, back out to where it's the whole footage. There we go. And so you can see it's just a tiny, tiny dropout, but it's still there. Anyway, let's pop me back on the uh, screen and let's try that again because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, it's that one. Okay, <laughs> there I am. So I hope you find that helpful. Um, if not, do let me know why not. And uh, if you've got any other things you want tips, uh, got any questions about, just pop a comment and I'll get back to you if I can.